So one of my viewers sent me an email asking me if it's worth it to go to a tech sales bootcamp. And specifically, they were asking about pre-hired tech sales bootcamp. And the first thing I asked them, of course, is how much does it cost? And they told me they're not exactly sure, but it's probably gonna cost about $30,000. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of money. And I was honestly so triggered by this email that I decided to make a video about it. Because if a boot camp is going to charge $30,000, they better be giving the greatest service of all time. So let's go ahead and look into this pre hired tech sales boot camp and see if it's worth $30,000. All right, so first of all, when you look at sites like Course Report and CareerKarma.com, you're gonna see that pre-hired is rated about 4.89 out of five on Course Report with over 300 rankings and 4.9 out of five on Career Karma at 233 ratings. So that looks really good, right? I mean, right off the bat, those are pretty good numbers. So it must be worth it, right? Swipe the credit card, pay $30,000, no problem. Wait a minute. Actually, not so fast. Let's look into this a little more deeply, okay? So on the website, the length of the bootcamp is about 12 weeks. That's three months, which is pretty long for a tech sales bootcamp. And on the pre-hired sales page, there are some legit reviews. So there's like testimonials from real people. You can actually like click on it and watch the video. So that's another good sign. And they even offer an ISA if you don't have any money right now. That's called an income share agreement. That's where you don't pay any money up front. And once you get a job, you start paying in installments. So if if you look into this ISA that they offer, it's 12.5% of your income for 48 months. And it says that it's capped at $30,000. But on that same page, it says that they have a job guarantee that they're gonna get you a $60,000 job within 12 months. So let's do a little bit of math here. Um, 60,000 times 12.5% divided by 12 months in the year and then times 48, that's exactly $30,000. So you're gonna be paying $30,000 as long as they keep their side of the deal, which is a guarantee. So if they didn't keep their side of the deal, which is a guarantee, then you wouldn't have to pay any money, right? But if they do keep their side of the deal, which is a guarantee that you get a $60,000 job, then the minimum you're gonna be paying is $30,000. So, I mean, the math, I, I, I don't know why they would say a $30,000 cap when the minimum you'd be paying is $30,000. So basically you're, you're paying $30,000 is what I'm saying here. Seems like a little bit misleading marketing. Um, at the very least, uh, they're not communicating the value they're offering very well here. And yes, that 12.5% is pre-tax income as well. So that's even before taxes are taken out. So that's kind of the first red flag that I saw. And then I started looking into it a little more deeply and I found this review. So the review says, beware of this scam. I graduated from pre-hire back in 2019 when the boot camp was just a few months old. Back then the cost was $2,500. I was pretty amazed to see that it is now 30,000. I honestly doubt that the price hike was reflected in the quality of tuition. The course duration is still the same 12 weeks where they show you about 15 hours of pre-recorded videos with basic information that is available online for free. The course is not worth $30,000. The course founder, Joshua Jordan, sued nearly 300 students across the country to collect millions of dollars. They are currently under investigation by the Delaware Department of Justice. This info is available online. Please do your research and be safe. So this review basically sent me down the rabbit hole of basically doing research on this company. And it is true, the Delaware Department of Justice is coming after this company. Now here's an article, State Consumer Protection Unit Investigating South Carolina Tech Sales Boot Camp After Flurry of Collection Suits. So yeah, I mean, if you wanna check out the article, you can, but basically, you know, a company cannot unilaterally decide to arbitrate against hundreds of consumers after it gets caught abusing our court system, Attorney General Kathy Jennings said. So the Attorney General of Delaware is coming after this company. So this is not looking good for the company. They decide to sue 300 of their students and then the state of Delaware comes after them. But that's not all. State of Washington is also coming after them. Now, I used to live in Washington and I happen to know that they have some of the most strict consumer protection laws around. Like the state of Washington does not mess around when it comes to consumer protection. So you do not want to get the state of Washington after your company. Like seriously, you do not want to be on their bad side. So Attorney General Ferguson files lawsuit to shut down predatory tech sales program, recover money for harmed Washingtonians. 
So in this case, it's Attorney General Bob Ferguson filed a lawsuit today against a South Carolina company offering a deceptive online training program that duped Washingtonians into paying $30,000 for an online course. The company, Prehired LLC, issued the following guarantee in its marketing materials. We guarantee you land a $60,000 plus job offer from a tech company you choose. This guarantee, which was only one of Prehired's deceptive marketing claims, proved to be a lie and consequently illegal. When students failed to pay on massive debt from the program, pre-hired use aggressive collection techniques like lawsuits and forced arbitration to get the money. The lawsuit, filed in King County Superior Court, asserts that pre-hired and its owner, Joshua Jordan, violated the State Consumer Protection Act by engaging in deceptive advertising as well as deceptive collection practices. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this, uh, this is not looking very good. And again, you know, you can check out that article if you want to. And there's honestly a bunch of articles articles that have surfaced on the internet about this. I wouldn't be surprised if more states uh, start to sue them. But with that being said, you know, they'll have their day in court. Um, I'm not saying whether they're guilty or not guilty, but it is a bit of a red flag. It doesn't look great for them. And one thing that I will say is incredibly sketchy about this situation is how they got the majority of their reviews with a $2,500 boot camp, right? So it costs $2,500. That's a pretty reasonable price to get like a $60,000, $70,000 a year job. You definitely get your return on investment there. They got most of their reviews with that $2,500 boot camp and then they switcherooed and changed the price to $30,000. So it looks to the people on the outside like the boot camp is $30,000 and it has all these great ratings, when in reality, most of those ratings came when it was $2,500. That's how a scam works. So just a lot of sketchiness here, a lot of stuff that just is not looking very good. And with that being said, people wanna ask me a question all the time, what I think about boot camps and, you know, are all boot camp scams, right? And the truth is, I like a lot of them. I think a lot of them get people results, especially people from certain backgrounds and people who have a certain amount of experience. And when it comes to tech sales boot camps in general, I think most of them are actually getting people jobs because tech sales just has so much opportunity. But with that being said, should you be paying $30,000, $25,000 like some of them, $10,000? In my opinion, no. I've given my opinion on boot camps and like which ones I like and stuff. I've made other videos about that. Course careers, I've mentioned before, it's $450, which is 1 66th of the price of pre-hired. Pre-hired is literally 66 times more expensive than course careers. And yet course careers is getting people results left and right. They have extremely good ratings. They have testimonials. They're getting people great results in a short amount of time and it only costs $450, so there's not very much of a risk to you. And another thing that I've tried to explain to people, but it's really difficult to get this across for some reason, is just because a boot camp has an ISA or an income share agreement does not mean that it's gonna be better. In fact, I would say the boot camps that have ISAs typically, generally speaking, are not as good as the boot camps that don't have ISAs. And I know this is just hard for people to process, right? Like, like, oh, I, you know, I only have to pay if I get a job. Well, this is a perfect example. And this boot camp is kind of obvious and that, you know, they were, they went a little bit too hard on it and they got caught. And so they're getting a lot of bad publicity because of that. But a lot of the boot camps do this sketchy version of what this boot camp is doing. They're just a little smarter about it. So many people end up not going into the career they originally wanted to go into just simply because of the fact that they don't want to have to deal with that ISA. And most of these boot camps are now online boot camps. So they're essentially zero difference between an online boot camp and a comprehensive online course. They're basically the same thing. So you guys know what I recommend if you want to get into tech sales, which tech sales is a phenomenal career. Absolutely love it. So much opportunity. If you want to get into tech sales, my recommendation is to use Course Careers. I've interviewed the CEO of Course Careers, Troy Buckholt. Also, he has a free training, which I'll put down in the description below. And if you decide to use Course Careers as a service, which what they do basically is they train you and then they get you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies, then you can use that $50 off coupon, which is Shane50. If you want to check out a playlist of different interviews that I did of all different types of people from different backgrounds who got into tech sales, I'll put that right here. Uh, one of my favorite ones is Della. She was a stay-at-home mom who was able to get into tech sales in about a month and a half, and she went from zero experience to over $100,000 a year. Also, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I'll see you next time.